guys welcome to my channel so today i've tried to create this goddess look so it is basically an egyptian indian goddess look so i thought why not just use some reds on eyes but before i start if you are new here and you like my content please don't forget to subscribe to my channel with that we can always be connected and this hair is already up on my instagram channel this is like a wavy hair and heatless wavy hair so i tried to do this in 3 hours because i already had less time i did not keep it overnight you all can keep it overnight as well yeah before we waste any more time let's get started so we have to achieve this extra clear skin and glowy skin a skin which is completely perfect so for that let's start with a primer today let's use the bys match primer this is a liquidy primer quite liquidy actually it's watery it will just you know slide down if you all don't know i use this primer in order to get that clean and smooth skin which makes my face ready for a foundation and then guys i'm going to use the color corrector today because if you want to get that clear skin and without any uneven skin tones or without any uneven skin colors so it's important to use a color corrector today i'm going to use this krylon color corrector this is actually a color corrector as well as a concealer i am going to use this shade and this shade so i'm going to mix these shades in order to color correct my dark areas first so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some on my nail both the colors and then i'm just going to put this on the back of my hand this actually helps this concealer to warm with your own warmth so what will happen is it will blend easily and you just need to use this much for your whole correction color correction then because it's going to melt if you color correct directly from your and you don't use your hands or fingers or anything like that which will actually help in warming this up um i think you will waste a lot of product that's what was told to me by a professional makeup artist when i went to buy this product so it's almost been 2 minutes since i have kept this over here so let's just you know start blending this over here itself it has started to melt properly now so let's just start applying it on all the dark areas first just spread this properly wherever you want your dark areas to be covered you can just spread this directly with your finger i would suggest that fingers are the best if you want to blend your color correctors it starts drying so once it starts drying again and again keep on warming it like this after this if you don't apply a full coverage foundation that is perfectly fine i would like to apply it today because as i said i need a crystal clear skin so i think it's required guys these concealers are professional products like uh, these are only used by professional makeup artists i'm not a professional makeup artist but since i have a lot of knowledge about makeup i can use this product otherwise you know it becomes a little bit difficult to use these products especially from krylon earlier i never used to understand how to use krylon products but once i started getting knowledge and uh, it's been 5 years now since i'm doing makeup so yeah i've learned after 5 years how to use these products i think i'm done with my color correction and now it's time for foundation but before my foundation i think i will set the color corrector with a loose powder so um i'll be using the covergirl loose powder this is the clean professional loose powder in the shade light i will just dab it on my face like i did for my previous video if you haven't yet watched the 1950s video please do it was really good it's over here you can click this link if you all want so basically i'm correcting this because i don't want my color correctors to blend with my foundation normally after this you don't even need to use any foundation next it's time for a high coverage full coverage foundation thick foundation today i'm not going to use the huda beauty one i'll be using the maybelline superstay foundation and this is in the shade warm honey again i'm going to warm it on the back of my hand because this is really going to take some time to blend so let's just warm it properly you all can take around 2 to 3 pumps normally this is giving me a very very good coverage guys after the color corrector see you could see the difference the coverage is extremely awesome so guys color correctors actually play a very important role You all must have noticed that I directly used the sponge like I directly took the foundation from my 
from the back of my hand and I started blending it on my face. I did this because I think that I need a very very flawless finish today so it's better to directly start blending instead of just spreading the foundation all over your face. Next it's time to use a brow pencil. So for brow pencil today I'm using the uh, Sephora brow thickener and since this is a goddess look I want my eyebrows to be really thick. So first I will just be combing them and bringing them upwards or outwards. I'm just filling my brows right now not giving any shape and just combing them again so as to spread the product evenly. I think it has been so long since I have cleaned my eyebrows with a concealer. Previously I always used to do that. I don't know why I stopped it. I think maybe because I got too bored of it or I got too lazy. Perfect brows after so long. So next in order to avoid any fallout and to get that upwards sharp shape I am going to use this thing. This is actually used for any fallout. You can also use any uh, duct tape or something but uh, I'll be using this because I find this more simpler. Okay and next I will be dipping into reds. I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette today in order to get those exact reds for today th those goddess reds so these are the reds over here last time in one of my videos I have definitely used this product this red if you haven't yet watched that video you all can definitely watch it by clicking here today again I'm gonna use this side as well but we won't be using any blacks I'm gonna dip into the heart on shade and I would be starting like in a diagonal method so first I'm just kind of placing the shade actually. Also be taking the shade a bit towards my crease and blending it over here. Okay, next my favorite shade, the Living My Best. This shade is too good guys. See, the pigment is damn good. I am getting few fallouts over here but that's alright. We can definitely dust that off. And anyways, we haven't applied any concealer so that's fine. And then taking a clean blending brush, I am going to clean the edges. Okay, and then let's use the red shade from this palette which is the Makeup Revolution Foil Frenzy palette. And I am going to use this red over here. This is the kind of red I'm going to use on my inner corners. See how it looks. This looks fantastic. The right kind of red which I need today so I am basically going to spread this all over my eyelid so on my waterline I will again be using the red from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm not using a lot just kind of spreading it over here properly and blending it I'll complete this side and I'll be right back okay so let's complete with the rest of the makeup now yeah, some highlight on the bridge of the nose okay so we are done with the concealer let's set this quickly guys there's a lot to go now just be a bit patient because this is actually a detailed makeup I don't want to rush with this it's time to contour so as you all can see I'm contouring in this triangle way because I want that deep contouring today okay let's keep it quite intense if you like natural makeup, this is not the right video for y'all. If y'all want to watch those natural makeups, I do have natural makeup looks too. Y'all can definitely watch that. All those links are in the description box below. So as y'all can see, I have totally changed the shape of my face. I'm trying to make it quite pointy and quite towards like, you know, upwards. Alright, after that, let's just complete with the blush. I'm using this shade of blush today by Ofra palette. I'm gonna apply on the outer side, uh, not much over here. And then I will also be applying this a bit on my nose, dusting it off on my nose. And also I will be applying this a bit on my chin as well that much of blush is enough and then of course 
we need to apply the gold because it's the goddess look so golds are really important that's what i think and for golds again from the revolution palette i am going to take this shade which is kind of a yellow gold shade and i am actually going to dip my last finger into it and start applying it on the inner corners and basically i'm going to spread it out towards you know downwards so this is how i will be spreading this thing like the gold is melting and falling from this area something like this next i'm going to apply the highlighter almost close to the gold shade okay and then lastly the lips and the lips of course it's going to be red i'm going to apply the makeup revolution lipstick which is in the shade cherry matte and uh, this is a liquid lipstick which turns into matte this is it and now i'll be applying the lashes and i'll do my hair and i'll get ready and i'll be right back all right guys this is how i finished my look i added my nose ring i added one bindi over here in the middle and i also added one choker it's not a choker it's kind of a choker actually so yeah and yeah this, these are the baby hair the tutorial as i said is already on the channel if you haven't yet watched it you all can definitely watch it so if you like this video and you felt like you know it suits me don't forget to give it a like and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i loved creating this look Yes, it took me three hours to create it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.